spindle gouge uh, which is used on palo grain timber so let me bring up a, a picture of this I tend to use a fingernail profile not too pointed but not too flat on the end neither and that gives really best range of options for doing beads coves and V cuts again 45 degrees uh, and that's a good angle what I find very useful uh, so let me remove that photograph and now let's just use a parting tool to give us a bit of clearance at the beginning so again with party tool I'm just going to go down only a short way and again here again I'll be covering the use of the parting tool in another video shortly I'm just going to mark roughly the centre of the bead. So again, just bringing the gouge on here and just rolling it slightly. So I'm moving to my right, shifting it over and slightly lifting the handle. So I'm going just down, pick it up, the cut, shift, slide over to it. And just lift slightly. Now we'll come the other way. So now I'm just into my left. So just rolling it over nice and slowly. So I'll slide down with two rest and lift my handle. So again just get with that middle line. That middle line just helps you get the profile. Okay, we stop the lay. So that's the first cut. Let's do now a curve. So again, use a pencil just to mark the area where we're going to be putting it. Now we just angle the tool with the flutes facing towards the direction of the cut we're going to be going. So we're going to be going towards the centre. So we just push and then as we're going in, we roll it. So we start on its side about 45 degrees as we get to a cut we roll it so the flutes now start to come upwards so let me come from the other side so again flutes facing inwards about 45 slide in and rotate so we can just nibble a bit from each side so that is a basic curve which is opposite to a bead. The final one is a V-cut. So again, handle down, gouge on its sides and then just touch the tip of a tool and as you touch the tip of a tool lift the handle up so you're arcing it upwards. Roll the flutes over so they're facing the inside again. Handle down, touch the tip onto the wood lift the handle up so we'll do, do that a bit wider so just lift the handle so again always flutes facing the centre so push in and lift so it's a push pushing and lifting action at the same time and we'll have a look at that now and that's a series of the final two spindle tools which are the parting tool and the skew chisel. Thank you.